wrong with him? Come on, I'm fine. You are fine? I'm all right. Okay, so tell me, what is the excitement all about? I mean, you were so happy, you didn't even see me. I was right in front of you. Oh, Graham, I'm sorry. I was so carried away. Carried away with what? I just passed my jump, which means I've won the scholarship competition. Oh, come. Uh, I'll see you later. Are you, are you serious? Oh. <laughs> oh, he made his jump. <laughs> Edrika, make sure you come quickly. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> oh, we thank God for the scholarship. You have really made this family proud. Thank you, Mama. We will do whatever we can to make sure you make your clearance in school. Um, God who brought this opportunity will also give us the money to achieve it. Amen, Papa. Um, one thing I assure you, my family, is that I will never let you down. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm going to miss you, my brother. I am very happy for you. Don't worry. When I graduate and become a certified engineer, I will also make sure you go to school. You see? <laughs> <laughs> I will not mind going to school on cow. Eh? Mama? Oh my God, it's school on where they give you. I don't care where they are. As long as you will pay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I must learn something. Ugom. Abba and Chalam. Who can please understand the situation at hand? This decision is for us. It's for you. I am not going to live forever. There is nothing to understand. Nothing. Oh, you think I haven't heard of stories about those girls in the university, how, how they snatch people's boyfriends, and how, how they apply so much makeup on their face. And you think I'm just going to sit here and be comfortable thinking that you'll come back for a village girl like me. No, 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 no. Okay. Come. Don't forget the Bible says that when they are spoiled, I mean, when they are spoiled, they go into painting. You are just the most beautiful. Come, if you are a god, I swear I will worship you. I love you from the best part of my life. Come. Stop sounding as if I am choiceless. As if I don't know what I want. I know what I want. And that is you. Smile for me. Okay? Is for our own good. What matters now is that we love each other. Not the circumstances behind what we have at hand. I love you. Okay? I love you so much. Come here. I just hope you won't go to school and tell any other girl that you love her. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Come here. I love you. But it's so hot.
Mama, wait. What is it? Papa, Mama's illness is getting worse. What do you suggest we do now? Eh? Papa, it's better we take her to the hospital first. Let's save her life before you talk about the money. <sighs> Taking her to the hospital is not a problem. But how do we get the money? Eh? Hi. Look at the land I cleared for Mars. Up to now, it's still owing me 30,000 naira. Eh? Uh, look at the wheelbarrow that I'm using to pick one or two people on the road. Picking their loads in the name of surviving. People are still owing me on it. Hey, what do I do? Huh? Papa, it's better we save our first. Before you talk about the money. Hi, Diego. Hi. Let me quickly rush and bring my wheelbarrow. Let her, let's take her to the hospital. Like you said. Eh? I'm coming. I'm coming. Fine, huh?
Mr. Ndupoe, we have been able to stabilize your wife for now. But she will, however, need more medical attention. If not, I, I doubt if she will survive the next time she suffers same attack. Okay, you can go ahead and treat her. Please. Mr. Ndupoe, things are not done that way. Um, you may have to meet me in my office. Okay, I'll wait for you in the office. I know you must have been thinking the same thing that I am thinking. Although AJK has broken the odds by winning the scholarship competition, yet there are bills to be paid. No. I've looked at this thing from different angles. And I can't even think of where we would get the money from. You remember what we suffered to buy his jam form? We must not relent. Yes, we can't give up this opportunity. We can't. I really don't know where we would raise the money from for the clearance. I Mr. Ndukwe, once you make the payment, we will proceed with your wife's treatment. Doctor, where do you expect me to get such amount of money? 300,000 naira? Is it from the wheelbarrow I push? That I make one one naira to make ends meet? In feeding my children? Is it from the farmland I cleared for people which they are still owing me? Doctor, please, help me. If there's only one thing you will do for me, employ me so that I can be working for this hospital while treating my wife. Listen, I have gone round through my friends and relatives. No one seems to help me. You are the only hope. Mr. Ndube, is it not funny that you're asking me these questions? <sighs> well, like I said before, once the payment is made, we will commence treatment on your wife. And if you don't mind, Please, leave my office. I have other patients to attend to. Does it mean Mama is going to die? Ogum, stop speaking negatively and believe that nothing will happen to you. How me. can you say I should stop speaking negatively? Did you hear the doctor? 300,000 Naira. 300,000 for, for, for lab tests before they commence treatment on her. Tell me, Chiki, where in this world are we going to get that kind of money from? Ogum. God has not changed. He will never change. And where was he? 
Where was he when this happened to my mother? Where was God? What am I going to do now? If 300,000 Naira is not made available, we might lose Ugoma's mother. We don't even have money for my education clearance. What do I do? Ugoma needs me more now than ever. And I need to make her know I can protect her, even provide for her. Nah. Mama. I know what you're thinking. There's no point sitting here thinking. Your father and I would ensure that you go to the university. So be happy. The only thing you do for me now is to go and prepare for going back to school. Okay? Thank you, Mama. I know that you and Papa will always see me through. The most important thing here is that you believe in us. Hmm? So stop brooding and give us that cheerful smile of yours. Ebiano? Eh? Oku chade kwa mwa mabulu mo. When you see the young man, let me just uh, get some cashew. Oh, no, ma, my sister, I came to ask him. I, I came to ask you to please lend me some money. Please. It, it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> Don't worry. I never said I will not give you. Hmm? I will assist you. But you know things are hard right now. Things are very, very hard. Very, very hard. But don't worry. I will give you some money from my daily contribution business. But you will have to pay me back with interest. I will. I will pay with interest. I just need 20,000 Naira only. It's okay. I'll give you. But you have to pay me back with 400 Naira daily interest. So it's up to you. On my way to your house, so hey, yeah. oh. I want to ask you to please lend me 10,000 naira. I need you to complete the money that I have to pay for uh, my son's clearance and registration in school. Hey, my sister, I did not have any money with me. No money. I used the last money I had on me to restock my shop yesterday. No, there is no money on me at all. What do I do now? And um, why don't you go to Bridget? Maybe she will help you. You, you think she would give me? Yes. Oh, I thank you. Ah, 
can you imagine? She wants me to give her money so that her son will go to school. Why my own is there doing nothing? Hey, you do for my son. Why are you not interested in going to school? Notwithstanding, your father and I am capable of training you in school. You are there smoking with you, cigar, humanizing. Mama, what are you trying to do? My sister, look at this one. I'm trying to sell the fabrics and the wrappers to see if I can raise enough money for your brother's university clearance. Mama, I know we have to raise money for Brode Jiki, but you can't go naked, Mama. You don't have to sell your wrappers and fabrics. Don't worry, Mama, we will definitely find a way. My sister, Carol, some of these wrappers and fabrics are fading out. How much do you say you want to sell them? Fading quite. They are not fading now. How can you say that? You and I know that most of these fabrics are still trendy. They are in vogue. And some of them haven't really been used. Look at them very well. People want them. Eh? Just buy them so I can pay my son's fees. Anyway, I will give you 30,000. 30,000 what? Eh? Mami Nano? For all these beautiful wrappers and fabrics. Mama, Ekukwana, Ekukwana and Chacha. Don't worry, eh? My brother will definitely go to the university. Let me just. No, 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 no. Um, um, anyway, you go. Go. You may choose to listen to your brother. Please, I'm please. going. I'm going. Sit, sit down, Mama, sit down, sit down, eh? please. Just what kind down. of embarrassment? Please, please sit down, sit down. Mama, please, please, eh? eh add something to the thirty thousand naira. You know these fabrics are really nice. Besides, some of them, and you have not even one. Look at. Eh? I've not caught it, Seth. Look at this one. You can make up and down with it. Anyway, because of Mama. Mama. No, no, no. Stay out of this. What is it? Keep quiet. My sister, please don't be angry. If you can give me 40,000 naira, I will really appreciate it. Okay. I'll give you 37,000. It's what I can offer. Don't There is no market. Market is bad this period. Don't eh? Thank you. You can not get it back. Go and get it back. Be fast too. Here is 20,000. You come to my shop next tomorrow mm. so that you take the rest. Mary, Thank be you. fast. Bring, bring something and wrap all these things. I checked on you at the hospital and uh, Chidoto told me you came back to get food for them. Yes, but I'm going back to the hospital now. Then let's go together. Go. Go, I know you must be passing through a hard time now. What else will I do if not look up to God? Mama was in so much pain last night. I understand. So come. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. Okay? What of Papa? I did not see him at the hospital. He, he has been running around to see if he can raise some money. Let's go.
Obiako, Obiako, hmm? please help me. My wife is dying. Please, I need some money. Biko, I need some money. Your wife, help me to save my wife's life. Biko, I need some money. Huh? Yes. I don't have any money to lend anybody right now. Things are very hard for me now. Look at my shop. Look at this shop. You know how this shop used to be before. Look at it. I don't even have money to equip my shop. Obiako. Please. Please, Obiako. Hmm? Even if it's 10,000 Naira out of the one I saw. Please, help me. I can manage it. Please. Hmm. Biko. If it's this one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This one. It's not my own. It's not every money you people see people counting at this other person's own. This particular one. It's not my own. Hey. Hey. Yako, hmm? Please. You are the only hope I have. Please. My brother. My son in the university has been calling me to send him money. I don't even have 1,000. One thousand to send to him. I don't have money right now. Things are very difficult for me. Tight. Now came for Nanya. It is not my money. This one. Mm -mm. Forget it. It's not my money. Uh, what of your relatives and your kinsmen? What of that your brother in the city? Have you called him? I know they will help. Take it easy, take it easy. Hmm? Try and call your relatives. Call them. I know they will help you. You are even better than me. Things are very, very difficult for me now. Maduka, I was even coming to your house. Eh, you are coming to my place. I don't understand. Oh, is it because of that money that I'm owing you? I, I will pay you. I don't have it now. Eh? I will give it to you. Maduka, you can't keep on telling me that you don't have the money. I am not begging you to lend me money. But for you to give me the money that I worked for. Maduka, Maduka, please. Give me that money because now I am desperately in need of it. You amaze me, eh? When you talk like this, eh? Well, what is your problem? I told you I don't have the money now. When I have the money, I will give it to you. Eh? How much am I owe you that you will not allow me to drink cup? I mean, drink water and drop my cup. Eh? What is the problem with you? Start to understand, I will pay you. Am I the first person you owe Even the government are owing people. Eh? I should try to understand. Hey. Yes, try to understand, my friend. Right. Soon, it will be your own turn to understand me. Soon it will be my turn. Hey, now, you are working in your understanding company. How much am I owe you? Please let me owe you the eternity. Idiot! Am I eats now? 
Even if it's a little, at least just take something, please. Be cool, oh. Mama, you cannot continue like this. They brought your drugs earlier so you could take it, but you couldn't because you've not had anything to eat. Because you know, take something, no matter how little, please. Please. Oh. Mama, please, eat something so that you can take your drugs. Mama. Mama, you have to try. Mama, you have to encourage us. You have to. We've been here begging you since, please. Okay, just just take this spoon. Just this one. Oh. Where are you going now that I'm coming to your place? Ndukwe. Coming to my place? Yes. When did you visit me last? I know. But Okizie, things has been so bad for me. Things has not been easy for me. I know. I know. But why choose today? I hope all is well. Okay, Zia. All is not well. I mean, take a good look at me. Is it the same Undukwe you used to know far back? No, 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 take a good look at me. That shows all is not well. Undukwe. Your story is pathetic. But I need money now. My son got admission, scholarship admission into a university. And I need money for his clearance, which remains a few days now. Okay, Zee. You need money indeed. Because such opportunity, you don't miss it. Yes. That is why I'm trying hard, trying anything humanly possible to ensure that the clearance is done. No problem. Uh, let me go now. Hopefully, I must see Okechi at home. Maybe when I talk to him, he can do something. Uh, I will also come and see your wife, Okechi. Hmm? Bed and chim -chim. Bread and um, a bottle of Fanta. Okay, Fanta, yes. Or Coke, anyone.
Okay, Sprite. Thank you very much. That's good. Okay. And here is the bread. Okay? You have to eat something. I want you to understand that nothing will happen to Mama. But if you keep entertaining fear, that's when the devil gets at you. Please. Okay? Obim, I'm so scared. I'm scared. I don't want to lose my mother. No. Mama will not die. Come, nothing will happen to Mama. Mama will not die. All I want you to do is eat something and be strong for me and Mama. Right. Oh, yeah, it's good. Give him. Ugum. Aku Ugum. Abang Chalam. Ugum. Brother Jiki. A wise woman once told me that in the end all will be well. And if it is not well, then know it that it is not yet the end. So stop worrying yourself because all will be well. <laughs> Mary, which wise woman said that? Or are you trying to present your words as an ancient saying? <laughs> Brother. All I am trying to let you know is that you should stop worrying yourself. Papa and Mama are trying all their possible best to make sure you go to the university. Okay? Thank you so much, okay? You're welcome. I have been able to raise 46,000 Naira. I kept it um, on the table in the parlor. Hmm. Thank you, my dear wife. As for me, I have uh, 12,000 Naira. I was hoping we would raise at least 70,000 Naira for him so that he will use 50,000 Naira for the school clearance and uh, 20,000 Naira pocket money. That, that is really a very good idea. But, but if I may ask, has uh, Madoka paid you the money he's owing you? No. Madoka wants us to quarrel before he will pay that money. Nani, the best thing to do is to take Ejika along with you when next you're going to his house. People like that need force and embarrassment before they'll give you back your money. After all, he just sold a piece of land a few days ago. Take Ejika along with you and deal with him. I will. I will do that. inside. I served mine already. Okay. <laughs> okay, Papa. Enjoy your meal. Mm-hmm. Tony. Papa. Tony. 
Papa. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. How are you? I'm very well. So you are back? Yes, Papa, I'm back. Uh, welcome, oh. Uh, Papa, let me take his bag uh, inside. Mm. How you bought me bread? Bread? Yes, now. Uh. <laughs> Papa, oh. sit down. Yes, Papa. Uh, Thank you. How was your journey? Mm. My journey? Mm? It's fine, Papa. <laughs> Hey, wait. What are you trying to do? Hey, 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 young man, wait. Are you trying to remove my rules? I'm going to remove the ones I put for you. Since you don't have the money to pay, but you have money to drink beer, okay? You can't imagine. Hurry up. Hold on. Okay, sir. It has not come to this now. I think I have your money with my pocket. Yes. I have your money with you. With me here. I want to pay you. Let's take it, please. So you have the money on you, and you keep it all, all, all along, okay? Okay? Papa, I, if, Papa, give him back that money. Give him back the money. I must remove this roof, oh. Papa, I, I will remove this roof. No. Let him use that money and hire another carpenter. Leave the foolish man. Come down. Thunder will soon fire you. Come on, come down from my zinc. I'll give your father the money. What is she? Eh? I will not pay you your money. Oh, now. Leave the foolish man. Come down. Papa, it's because of you. Yes. It's because of you, Papa. Leave the foolish man. Someone cannot play with you. Is that what you used to do? Come on. Please, please, please. Heartless man. Just, just go. Hi. Remove one of the things. How much? Okay, this one. This is you, eh? Hey, go, 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 go. I'll give you your money. Papa! Hey, even yourself, you will be owing people to pay. It's a problem. You will owe, you will not pay. You will owe, you will not pay. They want to remove your roof now. Idiot! Yes. Good afternoon, my daughter. Who, who are they? <laughs> who are they? Uh, don't mind those people. The, you know the man, the man and his son. They, they are mad at me. They are crazy. They are mad before. They just leave them. Leave them. You are welcome, eh? Mm. Huh. I'm just yet to recover. You can go inside them. Eh? Hey, remove it. Remove what? Papa, that was what happened. Immediately my ogre died, the wife sent everybody out of the house without settlement. Even after spending five good years serving them. <sighs> but why are some people so evil? Some believe as if they no longer have conscience. Myself and the other apprentice pleaded with the wife. She refused. It's alright, my son. God knows the reason why he allows certain things to happen the way they do. Papa, if God truly knows, and is a wicked God. Stop speaking blasphemy, my son. Stop it! He is God. And in him, there is no imperfection. How much is the doctor asking before they can start treatment to mama? 300,000 naira. 300,000 naira? That money is too much. We don't have that. Honestly, my son, I don't know what this country is turning into. It seems like poor people like us have no rights to live. We'll be fine, Papa. Hey, GK. Papa. Yeah, it's 90,000 Naira. It was not easy for me your mother and your sister 
he had to race. But we did it. Believing that tomorrow, when your future is brighter, have it. Ajk, I have often heard that there's so much evil in the universities, but I know the son that I raised, and I trust you. By the time you get there. Do not imbibe the evil in the university. Rather, emulate the good. Imbibe the good in the university. Be steadfast in your studies. And remember where you are coming from. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mary. I really appreciate and I promise you all I will definitely make you proud. Your sweat will never be in vain. Amen. Thank you so much, Papa. It is in you. That wish it takes to be great. It is in you. So go and make us proud. Of course I will. Thank you, Papa. Papa, I, I have to go and start arranging my things now. Let me start packing my things. There is no way I can help you. Please, please this is my mother I'm talking about. Dr. Pico, please. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Ugum. Ugum, you have to be happy for me. Be happy for me, oh. Because I know I will definitely come back for you. Okay? Just smile for me. Who can? I want to um, be happy for me. Oh. Right. I just want you to know that I'll be waiting for you. Of I don't course. want you to get to school and forget me. Oh my will not. It's either you or nothing. No one else. Okay? I will definitely come back for you. I don't look at all those girls that will school me. Oh, I have to take this back. Um, I'm in over now. Just to me. Just to me. I have to go now. Just promise me that you'll be strong. Okay, son, do do more go now. Sorry, my brother, I am coming. Okay. Come, come, please smile now. Smile. You know I can't leave you like this. Just smile for me, okay? Just smile. I miss you too. Madam, leave and make it a go now. The one I do fast never do. Ross, please. It, it, it size a little more patience, please. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, let, let, let's save this time. I will definitely come back. Just be strong. You know I miss you so much. Please, a size a little patience, okay? Let's save his time. 
Okay, let's just save his time. You didn't put your bag well. This kind of one, I never see one. Sorry. What's my going to do for his house? I call the draft outside. Sorry, Bruce. I'm going to do Sunday. This guy too like woman, eh? She can't even this one. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be at the hospital. Just the look, because when I go give you a bit today, you go know. I heard you'll be going to school, so I still let me wait for you here. Oh, uh, Mr. Bada, I have to. Uh, uh, please wait, wait. Uh, uh, I brought something for you. Here, here's some money. Wait. And the phone, please, eh? So you can communicate with your people. <laughs> And also communicate with me. So fine boys. Yeah, fine girls. Don't let the rest. All these fine boys. Do more with me. I saved the money from, from my salary. You can use it to do one or two things while in school. A, a phone? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, I have to go now. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Understand anything here. The lab result says the woman in war two has typhoid, but the jokes we bought is for kidney maintenance. Listen and listen very well. Whenever I give you an instruction, I want you to carry it out to the very last letter. Are we clear on that? Yes, doctor. Good. I am in charge here. Sincerely, your wife has got a renal cancer. Yes, it's a disease in which the kidney cells become malignant, in other words, cancerous. Doctor, you need to help me provide a solution to heal my wife. Oh, yes, but the, the only solution is very expensive. Five million naira. 
That's a huge amount of money now. Where do we get such kind of money from? My son. I really don't know what to do now. I couldn't believe it when the doctor said it. Ijego. Ijego. What I know for sure is that my mother will not die. <laughs> is getting better. Giving her this sedative will worsen her case or even paralyze her. And when did you start arguing with my instructions? I'm sorry, sir. I just want you to let me in. Colleague, you see, sometimes things like this are done in order to achieve permanent interest. Okay, doctor. Doctor wants to see you in his office. I hope everything is all right. Of course not. Okay.
Tony. Ah! So you are out here smoking when you know the situation at hand. What is wrong with you? Get it for Abo. See, Papa, sometimes you need to calm down your nerves and think about your life. That's what I'm doing, thinking. What example are you giving to your sisters? Eh? Look at you. Gradually turning into a habitual smoker. Who knows if this is why your guy did not settle you? Yes. I will know if it is your stupid behavior that caused your misfortune. Eh? People used to say, I put them back and we say, go. Manana bem, so so go can nano. Only one man. Me, Papa. Don't bring my predicament into this. Please. Very soon I will show you I'm the true son of my father. Tony, are you working out on me? Tony! We are here deliberating on how to get 5 million naira for your mother transplanting. Are you here? Yes, okay. Huh? I see now for them. And we see go. I now for Tony and I And we see go. I'm going to pay them. I'm going to pay them. Tony, come back here. Come back here. Doctor, you called me to your office and I've been sitting here and... All you've been doing is staring at me. Did you call me in here to look at me all day? Miss Gromo, what I want to tell you is very serious. You see, I never knew you have such beauty in you on the last night. Excuse me? Gromo. I love you, and what I feel for you is true love and not infatuation. I just want you to give us a chance to get to be together. Please, Boma, be my wife. Oh, really? So this is what this is all about? You left me for Ugoma only for you to endanger her mother's life? All because of your conjugal feelings for her? Hey, stop it. Stop being ridiculous. You made it all clear from the start that it was over between you and I, so I had to move on. So stop being jealous. After all, what we had between you and I was just a fling. Nothing but that. And besides, I, I saw the looks on your face when you were looking at that boy, EGK. <laughs> and I know you were already falling head over heels for him. I beg your pardon. Uh, hope it's simple. What I'm trying to say is that I'm only doing you a favor by removing Okoma. It's your stumbling block between you and EGK. And so you can have EGK to yourself. Well, I have come to myself. So you endanger the woman's life? Nkoli, the best thing you will, you can do is to do anything humanly possible to get educated to yourself. As for me, I am already doing everything possible to have come to myself. And this time, it is for marriage. Oh, look at that surprise in your face. Maybe I have another patient to go take care of. Why you keep pondering over my talk? <laughs> Days now you have been avoiding me. Is, is it because I told you how I feel about you? See, Okoma, let me tell you. I love you and I want to marry you. I, I, I'm not talking about dating you. 
But I'm talking about marry you. Listen, I don't remember telling you that I need a husband. And as for loving me, you better stop because I would not return that love. I'm in love. Listen, I have a boyfriend and I love him dearly. Excuse me. I don't remember telling you that I need a husband. And as for loving me, you better stop because I would not return that love. I'm in love. Listen, I have a boyfriend and I love him dearly. Ugoma, I must have you. my wife's life. Please, Miss Dandukwe, if you look around you very well, you will see this is a hospital and not some kind of charity organization. I, I, I can't be taking care of patients for free. I have bills to pay. Government tax, staff salary, and other utility bills to take care of. It, it, it's not possible. It's not possible. Doctor, please. Please, don't allow my wife to die. Please. Eh? I don't have any hope again than you. Please. Uh, Mr. Ndugwe, I think I can help you. <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, but you will have to help me in return. I mean, I, I, I can help you save the life of your wife. Only if you promise to give me something I so cherish in return. At least, for my kind gesture, see me in my office. Dr. Uche has promised to treat your mother for free without collecting a dime. Hey, that's the good news of her. What else did he say? Father, the doctor I know will not treat my mother for free. So tell me, what did you promise him? Well, my children, all that he is asking of is for you to marry him. My daughter, please, marry him so that he will have full concentration on your mother and conduct free treatment without charges. If you ask me, that's not a big thing to ask. Besides, it's a good news for all of us. The man is rich. If you marry him, Mama will stand the chance to be well again. And this man will take care of you and all of us. Did I hear you say it's not a big thing to ask? It's so easy for you to say because you have never sat down to consider my own happiness. Have you ever asked me if I love this man? Ugoma, love has no part to play here but pure reality. Marry Dr. Uche. Besides, this boy you claim to love has, can't even provide the five million naira we are talking about here. Now listen, I will not sit down here and have this discussion with you because you are sounding very unreasonable. 
Excuse me, Papa. Ugoma, Ugoma, you must marry him. In fact, you are already married to him. Go, you come back. You, Papa, show you, ask. you. You can see, yeah. Huh? Calm down. When we get to that bridge, we shall cross it. Papa, no bridge to cross here. She must marry that man. Simple. Aban <laughs> Chalam. <laughs> Look, I want to promise you something. Okay. I will never leave you for anything. Yes. So tell me, what if you have the opportunity to travel out of the country? I will not make any journey without you. Yes. There is no possible journey without you. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I love you so much. And I love you too. <laughs> Don't stick with me. I will go with you. Stop. I'll, I'll okay. go. I will not. I'm not okay. Promise. Maybe you can!
AGK. Whatever that happens, AGK, I've always dreamt about you and I will do anything to bring us together. Listen to me, you shameless man. You can play the entire scheme you want, but I tell you, you will never have me. Do you prefer losing your mother because of your selfishness? You will leave my... You will leave my mother out of this. Oh, what have we done to you? Why are you doing this to us? What have we done wrong? I want to marry you. That is what I want. I can't. I can't do this. I can't marry a man who wants to exploit my emotion because of his, his selfish interest. Doctor. Yes. I saw her walking angrily. Hope there's no problem. That is not a problem. She's becoming very, very frustrated. And very soon she will succumb to my advances. Trust me, by then, Ugoma will be out of the way for you to have a GK. Oh, please. I'll see if you're doing it for me. Oh, we are doing it for ourselves. I'm scared of that woman's head condition. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to her. Just keep giving her the sedative. I must get Ogoma. Well, then it's up to you to get a ticket to yourself. He's not even taking my calls. What am I going to do? Well, get me some manager into my office. Okay, doctor. I like it when you smile and get those dangerous. So, Dr. Uche told Baba all that? Yes, he did. But your sister, Oguma, has refused to marry him. Sister Oguma refused to marry Dr. Uche? Because of AGK? Is she comfortable with Mama's condition? AGK? Who is AGK? Her boyfriend. 
Goma has a boyfriend. Yes. It's okay. Then it's me against him in a time like this. You look pale. Are you okay? Yes, Mama. I'm, I'm fine. I'm here. Let me get water. Okay, Kabaru. Has a GK written you since he traveled? Um, he has written twice. HGK has written twice. Yes. What about your mother? How is she faring? I... I don't know, Mama. What do you mean you don't know? Mama, you said HGK wrote you twice. Yes. Why? Is, is there a problem? No. No. You say no yet. You're, you're shedding tears. There's no problem. There's no problem. You can talk to me. When will this be over? Is this what I will continue doing to make the kind of money I want in order to take care of my family and my beautiful Ogoma? God, please, let your grace fall upon me. I don't want to be ashamed to my family. I can't even travel to the village in the name of holidays. Papa, have you seen Sister Goma? No. She is not even at the hospital. Didn't she tell you where she was going? No, Papa. Sister Goma has started acting strange this time, Papa. You need to talk to her. Because should anything happen to Mama because of her, I will never forgive her. It's all right, my dear. I understand how you feel. But that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm? Just go in and prepare the food you are taking to your mother at the hospital while I talk to her when she comes back. Okay, Papa. Yeah. You need to understand me. This woman is developing another ailment. We need to help her. Nancy, you don't need to worry yourself. All you need to do is get her some more water and make sure she drinks it. She will go back to sleep. Do not worry yourself too much. Yes, please.
Geschwister. Sister, please. Save Mama. I know that you love AGK, but think of this family. Mama is dying. Please, save her. Goma, my daughter. I know this family is asking you to trade your love and happiness in order to save your mother's life. Please, I know you never loved the doctor. But love grows in day by day. With time, you will learn to love each other. Please, I beg you as your father. Help this family and save your mother's life. Papa, I can't believe you're saying this. What about him? What about Ejiki? Father, he sacrificed everything for us, including you. And you. And even Mama. Hi, is Mama. She managed to survive one more day. How do you mean? The doctors refused to touch Mama yesterday. She almost died. They said they won't commence any treatment on her until until the money is paid. Why are these doctors so, so heartless? Do they even have conscience? My dear, I ask myself the same question. I don't... I don't know why these doctors are so mean and heartless. But one thing I know is that my mother will not die. Of course. Mama will not die. Nothing will happen to Mama. Everything is all right. Yes, everything is fine. So you hide. Oh, ah. yes. Papa, good evening. It's okay. Good evening. I thought you have come. Did you come back? Um, yes, Papa. He came back. Uh, yes, Papa. I'll be traveling to school, so I decided to come and give you this for Mama's treatment. Ejike, Papa, are you sure this is not your school fees? Uh, yes, Papa, it is. But 
I can't watch Mama die. No, my son. Ah, I know your parents suffered a lot to get this for you. What will you tell them happens to it? Nothing. I will tell them nothing. Moreover, I, uh, I'll be traveling to school. Um, I, I'm a little bit confused here. Since you brought this money to Papa, do you have any other money to use in school? Yes. I, I still have some for my clearance. Thank you. Everything I do, I do it for you. Okay. I just want you to be happy. Mama will be fine. Go. We have to walk. We have to finish it. If we don't, this man will not pay us. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know. I understand. But Mama will be fine. Mama will be alright. Okay? I just hope so. The doctor wasn't there last night. My love. The money you brought to us yesterday. Was it the money for your clearance? I can't stand and watch your mother die. Then you had to sacrifice your future. Your education, Ejiki. Show my everything. Show my future. I can stand and watch my future so far. My future must be happy. <laughs> so, what will you tell your parents? Of course, I, I am a man. I am a man, a full grown man. I will go out there and hustle like every other man. You don't have to bother yourself, okay? Just be strong for me and your parents. Everything will be fine. Let's walk. Let's walk, please. Okay? Okay. No, please. Let, let, let's walk. Okay. 
You have to be strong. You have to be strong for me. Everything will be fine. Train. I know. Just, just be strong. I'm just tired. I'm you just tired. Please break my heart. Please. Mom, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. What about him? When will you come back to your senses, you this girl? How dare you speak to your sister in such manner? The next time you do, I will do worse than this. Now get out of my sight! Please, my daughter. He sacrificed his future. He gave up everything. Everything, Papa. And now you want me to, to turn around and be cruel to him. How do I do that? How? It's been a week now since I told you what you have to do if you, I must treat your wife. And until now, I've not heard from you. <sighs> Doctor, what you're asking me to do is a very difficult thing. My daughter, Ugoma, loves another who has done so much for this family. So she needs to be convinced. I, I don't get you, Mr. Nduke. She loves another man. Another man, right? So where's the another man? Why can't he come and save your wife's life? Oh, I can see you people have decided to let her die. No. Hmm. Good news for you. It will never happen in my hospital. So, Mr. Ndukwe, I will advise tomorrow you prepare and come take your wife out of my hospital. Uh, doctor, just give me some time. I'm almost... I'm, I'm Mr. Ndukwe, you have until tomorrow to get your wife out of my hospital. And that's it. We're done with this conversation. I was about leaving before you came. So you can leave the car. Let me move. Until tomorrow.
tell me anything. I don't want to understand anything. I calm down. No, 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 Papa was Mama thing. Don't tell me. Because the only thing I want to understand now is who go mama must marry that man. Oh, you know, Eba. You are here eating up, eh? You are busy eating while your mother is at the hospital dying. Okay, relax. Eat very well, enjoy. Doctor, please, you need to help me. My father is dying. Tony, I understand how you feel. And I really wish I can be of help to you. But as you can see, my hands are very, very tight. Like, you know, I'm still finding it a little bit difficult helping to treat your mother who you brought in here without any advance deposit. And now you're bringing in your father. Boy. This is a hospital and not a hotel. What will I do, doctor? I really do need your help. Please. Well, um, Tony, if only your sister Ukoma will accept my proposal in exchange for your parents' treatment, then I think we'll be having a fair deal. Well, it's your call, Tony. If I were you, I know what to do. What is it? 
You want me, right? You can have me. I do not wish to have sex with you, Oma. I want to marry you. Well, my offer still stands. Marry me, and I'll treat your parents. You can start the treatment. To fix a date for the wedding. I'll marry you. Please, don't mind my sister. She doesn't understand, but I know she loves you. Don't worry, Tony. There's no problem. I'll take very good care of her. I trust. And I'm sure you're preparing to be my best man for the wedding. I can't wait for that time to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Uh -huh. Uh, Tony, just thank you very much. Money. Truly, you are God sent to this family. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. Thank your sister for being so beautiful. Beautiful, she is. Uh, let me go have a word with her. Uh, sure, sure. Thank sure. you. of the surgery has been fixed for 22nd of this month and I want us to be waited before that day. Whatever you want it done is fine by me. When is my father coming back home? <laughs> oh, day after tomorrow. I'll just go back to the hospital and take good care of your mother, your father. Hope you can possibly come around the hospital today. Yeah, take good care of yourself. Ah, Tony. My in law, my in law. All right. Hey, let me let me quickly rush down to the hospital and take care of some rest. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we lost her. talking now. My conscience is biting me. 
nothing to say. I never knew it would get to that point. You killed that woman for your selfish interest. And you say you've got nothing to say? I will expose you. Now you look at me and listen very well. We are in this together. If I go down, you as well go down with me. Remember, you've been the one administering those drugs to her. So, I will advise you for your own interest to let this go quietly and let no one hear about this. Do we have a deal here? You know you're a good nurse. So, I was on my way coming before my car broke down, and there is no mechanic on site. Please, sir, just give me 15 minutes and I'll be right there. Please, sir, thank you, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. I guess your car is bad. Yes, are you a mechanic? Just say I'm I'm a mechanical engineer. Please can I can I have a look at it? Yes. Please, just uh, start it. Okay. Start the car. Wow. Um, you you are good to go, sir. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, thank sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Please, how much should I pay you? No, I am I'm all right, sir. I, I don't want anything from you. I just I just need a lift to the park. That's all. That's not a problem. Come in, come in, come in. Thank you, sir.
My name is uh, Joseph Young, and my friends call me Mr. Joe. I was rushing to sign a multi-million Naira contract before my car broke down. God just sent you to my rescue because I was about losing the contract. It's all right, sir. Everything that happened was for a reason. By the way, my name is Ejike Okeze. And um, as you can see, I'm coming back from the youth service. And where are you going? I'm actually traveling to my village, Umizuka. Wow, I'm from Ebema village. Hey, Ebema is a neighboring village. <laughs> wow, who is, your, who is your father? I mean, what does he do? Um, my, my father's name is Okeze and uh, he's a carpenter. Thank you for saving me. It's all right, sir. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. As well. I have to be on the way now. Thank you very much. Just please. Take this token as my appreciation. Come you really helped me a lot today. Come on, sir. sir. I, I am fine. I'm just cool with the ride. Thank you very much, sir. You can keep the money. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I have to be on my way. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And me too. I appreciate it a lot. All right. Graduate yes, now. As I am the mother of a mechanical engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I am Papa Engineer. Engineer. Mama, I have successfully completed it. Yes. So oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. start eating. Oh, yes. Yes. My suffering has not been in vain. Yes, Mama. My borrowing while your father sleeps has not been in vain. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, Mama, hey, Mama, you're looking good. Am I? Of course, We will change the clothes now. I, I will turn it I've been wearing it since. Uh, I, I will, I will touch it. I don't wash it again. I will pay. Mary, I have not seen Uguma since I came back from school. So many things happened. 
so many things happened. Can you tell me about it? Ugoma's mother was very ill. The illness got out of hand. And she developed kidney failure. They needed five million naira for the kidney transplant. But I couldn't provide it. Okay, so what happened thereafter? Mm. Doctor, she had to conduct the operation. In exchange that he marries Ugoma for providing the money. Wait, what are you saying? He conducted the operation, provided the money in exchange, he marries Ugoma. How? Why? Kinako. Dr. Che got married to Guma and conducted the operation, but it was not successful. Our mother died in the process. The deal has already been done, so no going back for Guma. Wait, um, are you trying to say that Guma is married? Yes, she's married. You mean Goma is married? Goma is married to Dr. Uche. Then what is it? Uh, are, you, are, you, are you saying that Goma is married? Yes. Are you crying? Can't you see that both of you do not belong together anymore? Leave him. Let him, let him go. You still have a chance. Hey, GK. Hey, GK. It's a good evening. Evening. Is is AJK in? I want to see him. No, he went out since morning, and he has not returned. Since morning. Yes. Is there any problem? Um, no, th th there's no problem. Thank you. Okay, bye bye.
Why would you do this to me? I gave up my future just because of you. I gave up my future for you to be happy. Why would you go after promising to stay? Why are you going by wife? I tried. I tried. But I had to. I had to save my mother. I had to do it. I couldn't. I couldn't just sit there and watch my mother lie helplessly in the hospital. I couldn't. I couldn't reach you. JK, you went in communicado. There was no way I could talk to you. No calls. No letter. Nothing. I couldn't afford to lose. I couldn't afford to lose you. And lose my mother. How would I have coped? I was caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. I, I couldn't do anything. I'm so sorry. Even, even though I made the wrong choices, I know my mother, heaven bless her soul, will be so angry with me. But Ejike, I had to do it. I had to do it for my mother. The same woman you cared so much to save her life. I had to give up my happiness for her. Although I... I lost her. But I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guma, leave. Guma, just let me be. You do not have any excuse to commensurate the vacuum you have created in my heart. Just go. I do not ever want to set my eyes on you again. Chiki, please. Please, I beg you with everything you hold dear. I still love you. I... Just go! Go! Just go! Go and let me be! Go, but just go! Go, I do not ever want to send my hands on you again. Just... Just go. Just go. Oh, my just go. Please. Just, just, just leave me alone. Please, please. Please, I you all. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Guma, just go. Just go. I do not ever want to set my eyes on you again. I detest the very day I set my eyes on you. Please. Go, 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 go. Just, just, just go. Oh, Ejike. Ejike, please.
what are you doing here? You came back without looking for me. Call it, please. I am not in a good mood now. I know. I know she left you for another man because he's rich. I know she broke your relationship promises. I've always known she's not good for you. Enough. Enough. Can you please go? I want to be left alone. Hey, GK. I love you. I've gone through so many things just to show you how much I love you. All the money I was sending you when you were in school, you did not acknowledge any of them. Please, give me an opportunity to show you how much I love you. Please. Don't ever come to me to tell me anything of this kind. For your information, I don't love you. You are not my choice. Call it, let me be. I took out to Goma just to have you. And I must have you, GK. Must have you. What is it? <clears throat> Talk to me. <clears throat> Tell me what... <clears throat> Don't! Touch me. <clears throat> What's going on with you? Just... Why are you like this? What exactly is going on here? I've been sitting down here waiting for you all day and you just walk in here to tell me not to touch you. For some days now, Goma, my wife, has been very moody. And she has practically refused to do or touch anything in the house. Not even to make food for her son, Ekene. And all, 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 all she does is weep every day. So I want to know, has she told you anything? My in-law, let her be for now. Soon. She will get over her misery and get back to her normal life. Get over her misery? How? I mean, even, even when Mama died, Ogoma was not this sorrowful. 
I, 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 I truly will want to know what is really tormenting her like this. I don't know if my daughter, Ugoma, told you that she had a lover who sacrificed all he had just to make sure my wife got better. The boy came back and got to know that she is married to you. I know that feeling and the nostalgia. I know that feeling and nostalgia of their past love experience. I believe that is the reason for our isolation. Doctor, if it were you, how would you feel? My in-law, we are not talking about how I will feel here. We, we, we are talking about my home, my, my child. And, and... My in-law, is the boy back to this land? Papa, I don't know what is wrong with the GQ. He has refused to talk to anyone. He has not eaten his food since morning. What must have been weighing my son down? Could it be emotional trauma? Emotional trauma? How, Papa? Who might have hurt my brother, eh? What is all this? If I knew you didn't keep here. Papa, Papa, he's inside though. You better go and talk to him. Eh? I will. Hey, what you mean? What am I going to do? I have given my future to save Ugo, my mother's life. Now here am I in a strange land where I know no one. How am I going to survive?
Excuse me, please. Um, please, uh, is there any mechanic shop around? I mean, where they repair cars? Um, yes, just down the road. Down the road? Yeah, um, let's just say about after five to six houses from here, you see it. Okay, five houses from here. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, one more thing, eh? Uh, excuse me, sorry. Um, how good are they? I mean, are they very good? Mm, I think they are very good. Because they used to have plenty of customers today. Eh. Yeah. No problems. Thank you, eh? Oga, okay. okay, please. I I I I beg of you. I, I can do it. I am very fit for this. I know I am capable. I can do it. I, I am not disputing whether you can do it or not. But I want you to understand that mechanic work is not a job that you just come and start doing. Mechanic work is a very tedious work that needs passion and concentration. How can you be concentrating in this work and at the same time concentrating in your education? You, can, you, can, you, I, I, you cannot do it. I, 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 am, I, am, I, am, I am fully prepared for this. Honestly, I, I, it will work. It will work. I am prepared. All what I need is something to put food on my table. That's all. I, I don't know. You, you see what I'm saying? How can you walk into my territory and tell me that what you need to do with mechanic work is to put food on your table? You don't do mechanic work to put food on your table. You do it for passion. Passion is the drive. You need to be concentrating. You need to be articulated. You need to be... Uh, you cannot do this work. You cannot. It is not a matter of putting food on your table. It's a matter of passion and desire because I can comfortably confirm to you that your father did not do mechanic work. None of your relatives did mechanic work. Even your generation don't have any relationship with mechanic work. So how can you tell me you just walk in and do the work? Oga, okay. I am gifted though. I am very gifted. I am talented. I, can, I, can, I know I can do it. Just, just help me, sir. Just, 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 just help me. I, I, I can do it. Well, uh, what, I, what I, I, I am, I am only but human. So what we do is help people. Um, I will see what I can do to help you. I will see what I can do to help you. Although because you're a student, I know you cannot pay me. Yes. But one thing you must do is. Get a crate of beer and then a bottle of dry gin. This crate of beer and the bottle of dry gin you will get is what you will use to identify with all these people you see here that are working. All of them brought it. That is what they used to tell you. Welcome, welcome to China do mechanical enterprises. Eh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you can you can. Oh, 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 sir, I will do just, sorry, sir. One more thing. One, one more thing, sir. Um, I, I I was going to ask, sir. Uh, can, can I st stay around? Look at this boy. Look at this boy. How do you mean? You, 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 can you stay around? No. You you will be staying in your house. Are you going to stay in your house to be doing the mechanic work? Did you not see my boys that all of them are around? How can you be asking me? You, you... Sorry, sir, you don't, you don't misunderstand me. I, I actually meant to say, um, can I? Do, do you have a place where you keep your boys? I, 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 I wouldn't mind staying with them for some time, sir. I just need, need a shelter over my head. Listen. Yes, I do have a place I keep my boys. But I cannot just 
allow you to be staying there because I don't know the level of your capability. My boys that stays in the house I rented for them, they stayed here because they are so, so productive that they now generate the money I use to pay for the house rent. She do mechanical enterprises. A division of Chiyofizi Motors cannot just call anybody to start doing anything and paying for something we cannot really be sure of. So you, 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 you need to show me that you are good. Oga, okay. I am very capable. I am productive. Just, just try me. I am, I am productive. I know, I know I can do this. Just, just help me out, sir. Be cool. Well, anyway, let us see how it goes. You go to uh, meet a slow boy or doka. Let them help you. And then show you the way around. And let me see how productive you are. Uh, and you, you need to change this your clothes. We don't wear this kind of clothes here. This is not a place where you, it's for footballers. Not for mechanics. Slow down. Yeah. Okay. Um, go and meet him. Oh, right. Yes. Please, uh, tell Udoka to come get me one bottle of beer from that woman.
Okay, I am not agreeing what you are saying, but you need to understand that it is high time we started appreciating our own. All these spare parts that you, you keep on saying we should get it from outside the country and other neighboring countries. Nigeria produces strong and durable materials, durable spare parts. So you don't just tell me to start making arrangements to buy those mat those uh, 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 engine when I know we can have couple it coupled here in, in this our country. Yes. Ah. Well, uh, um, I, 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 you just need to think about it and let, let's talk uh, uh, later. Yeah, I uh, have educate. Um, okay. Good, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Okay, I, I bring you this. What is this? AGK, I have told you to stop doing these things. You must not be buying these things for me. If there's anybody that will be giving you things, that person should be me. Our people say, Are they a kumili or a no shimili? You don't carry a bucket of water to pour in the river. I am supposed to be the one who will be showing my benevolence to you as my boy. Eh? Okay. Anyway, thank you all the same. Oga, okay. I want to ask you for a favor. Eh? What favor? Okay, I want to start my, my lectures officially by Monday. Although I have missed some lectures already, but I... Hey, listen, listen to me, Ejiki. I have told you times without number. That you can start going to school anytime that you want to go. Education is very, very important in a man's life. And don't forget that is the main reason you came to this uh, 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 town. So your education is very important to you. You see, as I am, if I don't have a touch of education in my life, my business will not be as big as it is. So you need that education for yourself. So it's not something to, to ask or the demand for. The only thing you need to do is know how to make use of your time. Time to go to school, time to come to work, time to do other extracurricular activities. It will help you. Thank you very much, sir. I, I really appreciate I, I appreciate you, sir. The joke, sir. Oh, but please, next time, don't be... This is the second time you are giving me a, 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 a wine. After the one that you brought already for every... We have accepted you, so there's no point in coming to... Do it every okay, I can't stop appreciating you. I cannot stop appreciating you. Hey, hey, just go and make money. When you it, make money, people it, like us will enjoy it. You don't know what you did for me. Oh. Please, God will continue to please go back to work. I, I, go back to work. No problem. Thank the, you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, very good boy. Yes. I don't know. Kumai suffered so much for you. You had the mind to stab me at the back. Kumai, you lie. I am going to become successful. 
and you will live to see me. Brother. Hey, Jiki. I don't know what is weighing you down, but I know you will be fine. Your family loves you so much. That should be more important to you than that of a million disappointments from Goma. My brother, please wipe your tears. God will provide a woman that will love and cherish you the way you are. Okay? Please stop crying. No woman would ever be like Ukuma. She's married. Forget her. Okay? No woman will ever be like Ukuma. It's okay. It's okay, my brother. Stop crying. Ukuma was just everything. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, I'm looking for one Mr. AGK OKC. He just finished his youth service, and the people I asked around directed me here. I, I, I hope there's no problem. All is well. All is well, ma'am. Who are you, please? I am Mr. Joe Young, and I have come to show him my appreciation. Why? Call your son. AGK! AGK! What you did for me the other day did not only save me, but also save the company. And I told my MD about it. And he asked me to find you and give you a job as Mama. our mechanical maintenance engineer. Here is your appointment letter. Papa. Mama! Okay. Papa! What is it? Mama, we're rich. We're rich. Mama, we're rich. Guan, read it. Papa, the provision includes an official car, yeah. official house, and of course a huge amount of money. Hey. As my monthly salary. <laughs> Papa, two point something million. Hey! Hey! <laughs> All you need to do is to come to the company with your credentials. With my, my credentials? So, the job goes with credentials? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I I appreciate your offer. You're welcome. I, I don't I don't want it. Ejik, Papa, did I hear you well? What did you just say that you can't? Eh? Papa, I am I am sorry for what I am about to say. Sorry, I did not tell you. Tell us what? So many things happened that I can't explain right now. 
the sound of not anybody. What we need is your skill. So you have the job. Just my skill. Just. I appreciate Well, we're rich. Millionaire. In my family. Millions, millions. I will be going to Tashi. Well, we're rich. Sir, I have a confession to make. You may feel bad about it, but it's the truth. Please, Nkoli, we do not have all the time. What do you have to say? Your wife did not die a natural death. Dr. Uche Ilomanya, your in-law, killed her. What are you saying? I'm sorry, I'm an accomplice. I fell in love with AGK, and when I couldn't have him, I was so upset when I see Ugoma running around him. I thought my plan has perfected when I noticed that Dr. Uche was crushing on her. We plan to remove AGK out of the way so that he can have Ugoma while I have AGK all to myself. So what has that got to do with my wife? Sir. What has that got to do with my wife's death? Your wife never had kidney problem. Yes, she only had typhoid. But Dr. Uche kept on keeping her in the hospital so that he would do everything possible to have Ugoma. Kept on giving her sedative that damaged her system and she died. So, you killed my mother? No, Dr. Uche. Because of your own selfish interest. You deserve to stop. Stop. Let me give you some It was not Tuche. It was not Tuche. It wasn't was me. Papa, let me deal with this woman. Sorry, sorry, sir. Papa, Dr. Uche must be arrested. His certificate for practice must be taken away from him for committing such a crime against humanity. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm calling. Sir. Sir. The stick must accompany the millipede across the fence. So you are not exempted from the punishment. Have you been doing on your phone all day? Give me those kids you lost the self in there and get me something to eat. I'm very sure you know the way to the kitchen. If you're so hungry, go into the kitchen and fix yourself something to eat. You're my wife for Christ's sake! Give me that word remember to be your slave. arrest for murder, aiding and abetting of crime. You have the right to remain silent because anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to provide an attorney. If you don't have, the state will provide you with one. Officer, arrest him. Thank you. 
the lucky mama. Destiny can be delayed and can also be denied if you complacently live in life based on what faith brings. Being a dropout doesn't mean you cannot go back to school again. I really didn't go to school but my good deed to Mr. Joe Young presented an opportunity to go back to school. I did went back to school and I later became so wealthy. If you look at me now, you will confirm that I am living a complete successful life. All thanks to hard work and steadfastness. <laughs>